to The Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're going to answer a viewer's question. Lauren wrote in on the forum. She asks, I have a client who has an SI dysfunction believed to be caused by her having one leg longer than the other. She also has extremely tight hamstrings and compared to the rest of her body, she has a weak center. She is a triathlete and is very strong in her arms and her legs. She came to me looking to increase her core strength and stretch her hamstrings and had accepted the pain from her SI dysfunction. I have never worked with anyone with SI dysfunction, but I want to help her in any way I can. What should I be doing with her to help alleviate some of this discomfort? For SI dysfunction, what you have to start with, with most people, is just back to the basics. So you have to find some way that they can disassociate the movement of their femur and their pelvis. So their femur on their still pelvis or their pelvis on the, the femur to start to open and organize the pelvis a bit better and to get really a pure movement of the leg. So what we're going to look at today are just some simple propping techniques. So this one we have here is Casey's creation because sometimes she has a little bit of SI joint pain that she has to deal with. So she created this little blanket setup, which I really like a lot. And what it feels like when you get on it is like a little nest for the sacrum. So in a moment, she's going to go down onto her back, and her sacrum is going to be at the very end of the blankets. You can see we have two blankets here. We also have the smart spine pillow. Um, sacrum at the very end of the blanket with her tail just hanging off the end. All right. Come into your nest, Casey. <laughs> no problem. Glad. Uh, all right. So here, she has all this support under her, and it's a support that her sacrum and the back of her pelvis can really contour onto, and then she can relax the back of her body. Because so many of our clients that have um, SI joint dysfunctions are really tight in either one or both sides of their SI joints and also in their lower back. So this blanket setup, which I've used with a number of clients, and Casey uses it all the time, really gives them that sense that they can be supported. And from there, they can start little by little to start to release the gripping in the back of their pelvis. So let's just do a few out and in, and then we'll go to the next setup. So just so the viewer here can really see how you can relax the back of your body. You also have that support of your incline pillow that can also allow you to drop the sternum into the back of your rib cage and get a little bit heavy there at the back of the heart. Good, because a lot of times the SI dysfunction goes along with being pretty tight in our thoracic spine also. So this is a really nice setup. Mm -hmm. All right, come on off. Let me show you a few other things you can do to progress the work. So I'm going to have Casey come on down here, and we're going to do a little diagnostic to see exactly what her um, compensation patterns are, what she wants to, to do naturally with her pelvis, and then from there we'll prop it. So just go out and in. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but right away, and of course, you know, I look at Casey all the time, so I already know this, but she does a little bit of hiking her left hip up to her armpit because of her scoliosis too, and she has a little tail wag there to the left. So in this side of the pelvis where the hip is dropped, the femur head really isn't getting that kind of full injection into the hip socket, and that's causing a lot of imbalance in the pelvis and can cause a lot of um, SI joint dysfunction, too. So, okay, I bought this rain stick, and my husband said I was never going to use it, so I'm going to use it here. So I'm <laughs> what I want her to feel in a moment when I prop her is that her femur, like the seeds of a rain stick, 
can pour deeper and deeper into the hip socket. So you feel that heaviness at the back of the hip socket. All right, so here I'm gonna look, first of all, so she has this little hike of the hip. Go out again. See, as soon as I start to cue Casey, she's already <laughs> fixing herself. Stop, be a regular client. <laughs> okay, good. And so she's hiking this hip and she's also heavier on this side. So when you prop the pelvis, you wanna prop the heavy side of the pelvis. So I'm gonna come around here. I think that that it's rain stick helped stick. you. <laughs> Get out of my brain. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put the, this little warmy right under the back of her pelvis. And I might have to play with that a little bit. I might have done it not enough or too much. So now I'm gonna look as she goes out and in again. So what I'm trying to create is a little bit more heaviness in this right side of her sacrum. Yes, right side of the sacrum. Good, and so that propping the heavy side of her pelvis is gonna bring her over subtly onto that, that right side. So that looks really good. Now, another thing that I would cue Casey with as she goes out and in is that to think about softening around your pubic bone a bit more, right? Keep thinking about that pubic bone just there much better, just dropping into the back of your sacrum. Because the, the most important thing that we're looking for here is that her pelvis can be in an easy home position and that we can get a really pure movement of the femur head in the hip socket. And when we get that, that's kind of the key to this whole thing. Because when the femur is deep into the hip socket and the client really has a feeling of that, that's gonna start to stimulate all those deep back muscles, which really creates that um, communication through that girdling in our lower back and our lumbar spine and helps to create that forced closure at the top of the pelvis, lumbar spine, and sacrum. All right, so the next and last thing, because Angela's given me one minute, so we're gonna get the overball here. I'm gonna use this in the next episode too, so I'll detail it a little bit more then. But Casey, let's bring your headrest all the way down to flat. That should be good. And then we're gonna place this overball right under your pelvis. So sometimes the client needs this little squishy, this little um, movable air pocket under their pelvis to help them organize and to help highlight what their imbalances are so they can really feel how they're holding their pelvis. So now you're gonna go out and in, and if she's a regular client, she's probably gonna be spilling off here to the left side. Good, and then, so the ball is letting her know what she's doing. So really subtly, she can take that cue from the ball along with my verbal cues and start to put just the tiniest bit more weight into that right sacrum. The ball is also really nice for people who have tailbone pain and the SI joint pain because it gives them this movable surface and they really feel like they have a pillow underneath them and that the floor isn't jamming into their lower back. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question that you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. See you next time and never stop learning.